No worries. And we're here with Nokia, with Damien Dinning, who's going to show us the new camera UI on the Nokia PureView 808 announced just now with the 41 megapixel Carl's Ice lens. Damien, over to you. So I'm just going to show you the, uh, the new UI here. So uh, this is the default uh, layout that you'll see uh, when you use the device. Um, you can see very, very simplified, only the major controls that you have. Uh, once you have captured images, so if we just take a, a, a quick picture over here, for example, you'll see that fly in, and then that populates a little thumbnail there. Um, now all we need to do is, we've got all of our controls here. We've got our shutter key, mode switch for, for video and stills and flash control. That's it, there's no settings there at all. A very simplified experience that so anybody can take, the, take it out of the box and take incredible quality pictures just like that. It's really, really simple. If you press this control at the top, you can then switch between three different levels, depending on your level of involvement that you would like to have in the process. So if you want to use scene modes, then you can change to there. We get an additional control up here and now we can select from different scene modes. We've increased the number of scene modes here as well. Um, so this allows you to fully optimize the settings um, for particular uh, scenes or conditions or subjects um, if you don't have too much experience. However, if you go to creative, then you have a, a plethora of additional controls and settings that are available here. And we get additional controls that appear on the left-hand side now. So we can uh, change the exposure compensation if we click on there. Um, we have an extended settings, so we go up to plus or minus 4 EV. We have a new histogram capability as well. Um, white balance controls, ISO control, and also a new feature, ND filter control. So now you can disable or enable the ND filter um, depending on the lighting conditions. If you want to force it on to reduce the shutter speed, then you can do that as well. There's also our new slide zoom control. Uh, so if you press, just touch, so if I just change the settings because I'm in the full resolution mode, that's what it's telling me. If I go to pure view mode, which is our default experience, if I just slide my finger up, I can control the zoom as simply as that. There's no dedicated UI that I need to touch on the screen or anything like that. I just need to slide that up and then when I release it, then instantly zooms in. Now if we go to uh, video, um, and if we go to um, a lower resolution setting, just to exaggerate the, uh, the ability of the, the system here, so we can go from full 1080p to 720p and 360p, and each time the zoom will increase. So now we can zoom in on just that area. And you have to excuse my shaking hands, it's because I'm so excited today because I haven't been able to talk about this for five years, and now I can. So there we go. Well done. Thanks. That's all we're going to go with. It's pretty, pretty damn amazing. Pretty damn amazing. Good stuff.